It's a cloudy day and I'm at Burger King in Calhoun, Georgia. Could I get two cheddar bacon king sandwiches? You're saying cheddar. We don't have cheddar. You don't have the cheddar? No. Oh, I thought you did. I'm sorry. I have to come back. I guess I thought you had that on the sign. Oh, they got that wrong. Let me go in and talk to them. I got that straight. Apparently that doesn't come out till tomorrow, but they're gonna make it special for me today. I just need the two uh, bacon cheddar king sandwiches. That's all. All right, honey. $13.89. First one does. All right, see ya. Honey, they just put that on the menu. I am sorry. No, it ain't your fault. I just read it in the thing. Right. As soon as, and I was like, whoa, and then they went in the cooler and they found it. Oh, no, no biggie, I'll be first. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you. Do you need ketchup or anything today? No. I can be ready in just one moment. Thank you. Diet Coke. I'm so hungry, my hand's shaking. See? If I get any worse, I'm gonna be hangry. Here you go. Thank you, Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We got our bacon cheddar sandwich. Let's head back to the studios of. I'm not at the studios of Joe is Hungry. I had the presence of mind to look in my bag and see what I got. Lo and behold, I got two Whopper Juniors and a French fry. So I guess I need to head on in and get the right stuff. We're back. They, had, they gave me the right stuff. <laughs> They're really a nice friendly crew and I appreciate them making good on it. And I don't forget that I appreciate them making this sandwich for me today. So let's head on to the studios of Joe is Hungry located in the city of Fairmount, Georgia. Today I've been to Burger King. What I got today was the Bacon Cheddar King. It's a new menu item. It's very similar to some of their older stuff. It started coming out nationally around the 13th. In Calhoun, Georgia, it's actually coming out tomorrow on the 16th. This sandwich consists of two quarter pound beef patties flame broiled like Burger King does, topped with a thick cut bacon, four slices of cheddar cheese, topped with mayonnaise and ketchup, all on their sesame seed bun. You see it comes in the standard bag. You gotta appreciate the bag art. It really makes me get hungry to see this wonderful bag art. And one of these retails for $6.49. Ashley for a two patty burger with extra cheese on it. And that's actually a pretty decent price. Before we take it out of the wrapper and take a look at it, I wanted to throw it on the scales and go ahead and do the Joe weight test. Take this and throw this on the scales, and it weighs in at exactly 12 ounces. Again, there are no specs out there on what this thing's supposed to weigh, but for my purposes, I just compare it to some of the other burgers that I've uh, weighed, and they usually run from anywhere from six to about 15 ounces. So we're right in the middle of a road, or a little bit large for a hamburger. For $6.49, actually, I think that's a pretty good value. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. I see we have a little hanger off here. Well, you know, we gotta just bite that off just, just to make things look correct. Let's see about getting a cross section on this thing with Bessie the knife. Takes a good sharp knife to do this. To cut through that bacon to make it look right. Here's a cross section. There's a lot of meat in it. It looks like they put all four slices of the cheddar cheese. A nice looking sandwich. I can see the bacon. I can see the bread. It looks really good from here. All right, before we go any further, we have to clear the palate with some Diet Coke. All right, so it is now time for Joe Bite Test Engage. Pretty good. It has the Burger King flame grilled flavor. The bacon has a good flavor. They didn't skimp on it. 
you can see there's a whole bunch of it on there. The addition of cheddar cheese really works on this. I'm a big cheddar cheese fan. You can get an American cheese version of this, but I probably wouldn't do that because it doesn't, wouldn't have the deep, robust flavor that this does. The sesame seed bun is soft and cooked. You know my biggest beef with Burger King is not cooking things to order because it wasn't due to be released till tomorrow. This was cooked to order and it came out hot. Unfortunately, 10 minutes from Calhoun cooled off a little bit, but it still has some temperature and still is very good. I used to like Burger King years and years ago when they cook everything to order and have it your way. Those are the best hamburgers out there. That's what built the chain but they really don't do that anymore. I really wasn't expecting too much from this hamburger today because um, it looks like they were just swapping a couple ingredients around to make something new out of or make something new out of something already here and maybe they did that but with the cheddar cheese the mayonnaise and the ketchup and the bacon it really works. Y'all over there at Burger King and Calhoun if you're gonna watch this obviously subscribe to the channel but I want to thank you for making that. You really did a good job. And today, we're going to make the Calhoun Burger King my go-to Burger King. I definitely recommend asking these people to cook to order, and they will do it. It just takes a little longer. There is a lot of meat in this thing, and it is an excellent value, no question. Y'all know my score, 1 to 10. Uh, 1 being something that would make you throw up. 9 being nearly the best ever, and anything above 9 would be a once in a lifetime experience. Between 8 and 9 is something you would travel from city to city to get. Between 7 and 8 is pretty darn good, but uh, well, you would only go local, and then down from there. Today, I think we're going to go ahead and go with a 7-8 um, on this one. It's a good sandwich, it, it was made fresh, I appreciate the work y'all did over there at Burger King. I really do like the sandwich. Pretty good. Mm. Kind of brings me back in memory when they used to cook them to order. That was such a good sandwich back then. That was back in the 70s and 80s. They weren't left in a tray and assembled well after they cooked them like they do now. They've all adopted the, the McDonald's production line. So anyway, not going there. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, if it makes you want to go get one, uh, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, especially you people over there at Burger King today. If you're going to check this out, subscribe to the channel, watch the channel. I do Burger King occasionally along with other places. And until then, we will see you in the next video. So they say. Ooh, that was good. Calhoun, you rule. Calhoun.